there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV cone? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> that's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. The <laughs> flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? Mm, I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-terrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though, especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations, although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The anomaly? You're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. Huh? Oh well! Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Oh, curiosity. I experience that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob? Uh, just turn that. Good. Good. Better. Oh. Oh, yes. That feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then, whew, watch out! 
So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. I find things cur- Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the dessert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data-drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. There's some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan 9s in case the 7s fail. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. 
And the world isn't ready for that kind of too-far thing-taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Really? It is so unlikely to make an error in anything I do. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats in just you instead of the other way around. Hmm, Mentats? In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem, and the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Uh, not much, except they contaminated Big Mountain and installed new ideas in the think tank. One caused a great deal of infrastructure damage with his brain and smartiness. Ruthless, that one, played a little rough with the trains. But the last one was the most dangerous. Him uh, slipping away. That was almost as bad as the think tank escaping. The first one, the ruthless one who smashed up our toy trains, asked for weapons, power, items he could use to destroy a nation with force. The other, the other asked a different question, and with it got the true answer about what makes nations and what breaks them. He spoke to the think tank to climb, showed them the flag of the old world, and it made them remember all of it, all that had happened. They shared things with him that they shouldn't. He now carries those ideas, that knowledge, elsewhere. I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth!
My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quiet difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well... Bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Indeed. the most oh intriguing i've never been killed before although after that time i got that phlegmy discharge in my bio gel <laughs> i wished i had been well if there's going to be killing i defer to your expertise in this matter how should we begin? Engineering viruses? Cancerotic beams? Atomics? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. Whoa, have they not constructed themselves yet? That's a bit premature of me. The Robo Scorpions, of course. They can assemble themselves from floor panels and parts scattered about. Quite inventive. Never really know when they might suddenly appear. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Minions, to me! <laughs> oh yes, that's quite a bit better. Think you're a match for science? You two couldn't possibly have a relationship. You have nothing in common. 